If I fall in love with you today, do not mistake my passion for romance. For I fall in love with cherry blossoms, and the wounded soldier who finds her way back by opening her heart again. I fall in love with a singer with two scars on her throat, after cancer caught her in the place where silence breaks like waves on a rocky shore. I fall in love with a musician whose hearing was claimed by the madness of a lover who beat her skull with a baseball bat, leaving her bleeding and deaf on the floor of her apartment. Robbed of the world of sound, she found the trail to light with her eyes and the lens of a camera, learning to spell L-O-V-E with hands instead of tongue, with eyes instead of words. I fall in love with a boy soldier who watched other boys blow themselves up on his father's land and still finds the courage to laugh. He survived a war in the Congo only to find another war here in the Americas, a war of the soul, of loneliness, and isolation of how we only open our palms to people who are related to us by blood. I fall in love with a young actor, so wise beyond her 20 years, channeling our elders, her limbs brittle under the weight of years she has not yet lived. Sometimes I fall in love with animals or plants, with the blossoms on my street, in that ephemeral 14-day window of splendor, in the languor of heavy branches, in the twilight of spring, trailing at dusk of a day's end. Falling in love is confusing in a world where love equals sex, and when I kiss you, I'm really tapping on the window pane of your fears, trying to crack the code to your spirit's kryptonite lock. I met a young woman half my age, we could read each other's minds, finish each other's sentences, and when I closed my eyes at night, I could feel her pulse at a distance, finding our way home by looking at the sky. Sex is the magic language that does not need to be shared each time there is communion. I often mistook love for sex and kissed too many girls who should have remained companions on the journey of discovery. We don't have to bet each other simply because for a second, an hour, a week, or a year, we can look into each other's eyes and believe that we can touch the bottom of the ocean. True North are just two words to say that if the moon can pull the tides, then the tug between two hearts, the way your pain resonates with mine, can build a bridge between two people. What if we were all lovers, forming a trail of light, our love igniting in the night sky, a map guiding us home?